Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reacting to the cinematic Safe Haven, which World of Warcraft just uploaded to their channel like an hour or two ago. Um, and I have read some of the comments down below on this video and I'm seeing a lot of talk about this kind of being confirmation that there will be the whole Sylvanas Garrosh 2.0 thing going down. Um, so I'm a little bit concerned to see what they will be discussing in this video um, as a very big Sylvanas loyalist and fan for a very, very long time. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it and see what goes down in this video. I'm very, very excited. Their cinematics are always just so, so well done, so high definition. I somehow wish the whole game could look like this, but that is not possible, but it's just so good. They look so good every time. And I also read in the comments that this is based in the Grand, in Outland version, um, which is so nice. I always have loved those floating islands. So pretty. And then this is Thrall, which is so exciting. Oh my god, he looks amazing. So this is super awesome for two reasons. One, it's his new model, which is so cool to see this version of it, um, but also he's never been in a cinematic like this that I'm aware of, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So, this is home now. Home. Family. And where are they? Not far. This world... Well, it looks good. But it's wrong. Broken. Falling apart. Now he's probably gonna go on Just about like the no honor yet. Sylvanas? No. Do you know what she's done? Yeah. <laughs> you've been hiding. I feel like this whole expansion die. is just Sarafang being like, there's no honor in this. Wah. <laughs> I will not lead the horde. I didn't ask, but I hoped you would at least fight for yeah, it. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought he was going to say. And we do know Thrall does come back, so... Oh shit. There's... Oh shit, okay, what the... Oh my god, hello. Oh my god, these are some undead robes or something. This is... They have the sound effect, the stealth sound effect on them. Oh my god, holy. Holy, oh my god, this is cool. Oh, damn. Oh, look at her face. They look so cool. I wish that I looked like that. You were followed. I followed them. He followed them? He knew that they were coming, or... Were they? You and I... Um... We don't get to hide. Does that mean that they were coming to kill Thrall, and Sarfang followed them there, or like... If that's the case, that means Sylvanas was planning to assassinate Thrall, which I don't think would have worked with just two rogues, but... Good on Sarfang for saving his butt. Not that he would have had any problems, but... Oh shit. Pull up that axe, let's go. Alright. Okay, damn. Okay, so I guess that that's kind of that final symbolism of him holding up that axe is just to be like, yeah, hell yeah, dude, I'll fight for you. So... All right, so that was pretty, in terms of like Sylvanas and, you know, being in danger and everything, that was pretty chill. I don't think that, I the comments and everything about like, oh, this, yeah, Garrosh 2.0 is happening with Sylvanas. I don't think that this cinematic verified that at all. Um, all that this really is is just kind of an introduction slash like how 
Thrall comes back. So basically Sarfang has gotten to get Thrall to come back and save the Horde essentially, but I don't think that that means that we're going to be killing Sylvanas necessarily. Um, I think that this is all just leading up to the rescue attempt for Bane and everything, and it, what happens in terms of how we're dealing with Sylvanas, I don't think that this really has anything necessarily to do with it. Um, like, I mean, obviously, I'm sure the Horde and the Alliance will be planning to bring her down and everything, but I don't think that that is going to be her final fate. Um, I think that Blizzard definitely has greater plans for Sylvanas, and they've said countless, countless times that it is not a Garrosh 2.0 situation. Um, and what I think is going to happen, um, based heavily off of Taliesin's video, and even Akalon is another big YouTuber that I watch, um, I genuinely do believe Sylvanas is going to take over the role of the Lich King at the very end of this. I think that that's how this whole thing's going to end. So. Essentially, we won't be killing Sylvanas, but she'll just be kind of going off and doing her own thing for her own gain and own purpose. Um, it just, to me, makes the most sense if that is what is going to happen, because really, Sylvanas's goal has infinitely been to stay alive. She does not want to die. She doesn't want her people to die. That's why she's all, like, super selfish and, like, cares about the Valkyr so much and everything. So... I feel like if Blizzard is going to kind of wrap up Sylvanas' story anyway, it would make sense for her to become the Lich Queen for two reasons. One, because it solves the whole situation with her people dying, because she would be able to control whether or not they live or not. So she would just be able to keep all of her undead race alive and she would be alive herself. Not only that, it would just be really, really cool because how Sylvanas became who she is is through the Lich King and Arthas and everything. So to see her on one end, her whole basically entire being has been hating Arthas hating the Lich King her whole entire life until he was killed. Then she kind of felt like, oh, I have no purpose. And then she's been on this big quest of like keeping her people alive and finding more Valkyr for it to kind of end. Like, I feel like the spectrum here is like Arthas and the Lich King, Sylvanas hates him, kills him, kind of has no purpose, needs to find a way to keep her people alive. And then to become the Lich King, Lich Queen would be like the perfect like way to kind of wrap it up, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's what I think is going to happen with Sylvanas, and it would be the coolest thing ever. And then maybe even next expansion, we could see, like, another Wrath of the Lich Queen expansion kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, anyways, this cinematic was super good. It was so cool seeing Thrall in high definition with his new model, and that fight scene was so cool. And even just seeing the undead face, like, how much detail and stuff was in that, because I loves the Forsaken so much, so that was really, really awesome. I think the only thing that could have made this cooler is if we got to see Sylvanas, which I mean really wouldn't make sense, like she wouldn't be there, but it would have been cool to like kind of have a flashback to her in Ogremar and like arranging to send those two assassins or something. I just wanted to see Sylvanas in another cinematic, so yeah, because they just make everyone look so good, but it's Sylvanas just looks so so good so anyways i'm fangirling a little bit too much i know your thoughts on the cinematic down below and thank you so much for checking out my channel and i will talk to you guys again soon bye